Today's video from Sam Forrest Help. We're taking a look at receipt header message programming on the NR500 series. In particular, we're looking at the NR510F and the NR520F. Uh, it's the flat keyboard versions of the machine. In this video, I'm using an NR510F, but the process is the same on the 520, as the only difference between the two models is that the 520 has a second journal printer. Um, so with the machine, when you process a sale transaction and you've got it in receipt mode, um, you get a receipt print out um, and the standard message is your receipt. Thank you for your custom, please call again. I'm just going to show you how you can personalise that to put your shop, business, cafe or pubs details onto the receipt header. Um, it's a bit, bit more of a professional feel to the receipt, a bit more personal. Um, all you need to do it is the P, the metal key marked P, and you turn it round to the PGM position, and then we're looking for the um, address or line for messages, which is on line 8. So you arrow down to line 8, or just type in 8, and then press cash enter to go into it. You can have a preamble and a postamble message. I'm just going to do the preamble today, which is basically the top of the receipt header. You press cash to go into there, and then it comes up with what's currently on the message. Um, so I'm going to be... I'm going to put in Sam 4S help as my top line and I'm going to have it in double sized. So I press the double sized button there. And then you simply type in your message using the uh, letters and numbers on the keyboard. You can tell it's in double sized because of the way it's shown on the display and that will contrast with what I do on the second line. You type in your description, so I've got Sam 4S help, and then press cash to save. It confirms it there, and then we can arrow down to the second line. On this line, I'm just going to put in the website, so I don't want this in caps. So I press the caps to get rid of caps, and then we can press start typing it in and see what it looks like. So yeah, that's low, lowercase, and it's also not bold as well, because it looks different to how we had it before. If you make a mistake, you've got a backspace button here, so you just press it and it just goes back one. Um, again, once you're happy with that line, cache to confirm, and then we can arrow down to line three. I'll put in a phone number on this one just to show you how you would enter that. So we're going to have T E L, not in bold. We can pop in a space, space buttons there, but I'm looking for some punctuation to put in. Is that a dash? Yeah, a dash will do. So we can, in fact, if we go back to get rid of the dash, put in a space, put in the dash, and then put in the space again. And then your number, you just type in um, using the number keypad here, pop in a space. I'll just put in a made up phone number. Okay, so then cash again to confirm. I'm not gonna program line three, so you just go into it and backspace gets rid of it all. Cash to confirm, and then you're back there. Clear. So if we wanted to put in a footer message, we would go into the post handle, and then you can put in whatever you want to appear on the footer. So you've got six lines there. I think it's six maximum. Yeah, six lines of footer message and six lines of header message. So you can put in stuff like your VAT number, email address, as long as it fits. Um, and then when Clear, gets you back to the main program mode screen and once you're on this screen you can turn the key back to reg and then if we just do a quick no sale we can have a look at how it's printed out. Sorry that was a copy receipt not no sale so sam 4 help www.sam4shelp.co.uk and then phone number below. Okay I hope that video has been helpful we've got plenty more videos showing you how to set up and use the NR 510 and 520F so some of those videos will be appearing on screen now actually so you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforshelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.